to create this spooky video, which in fact could be perfect timing for your Halloween or any spooky videos that you would want, you just grab your picture and put it onto the timeline. I would suggest at this point to make your video somewhere to be long enough to where you can actually use it without it having to repeat. So we're going to make ours like 20 seconds long because you can always cut it without a repeat loop, but you can never add to it without a repeat loop. So take your picture, make it as long as you want in your timeline and go over to the Fusion tab. So now that you're in the Fusion tab, you can see that you have your media in and your media out nodes. So the next thing you're going to want to do is you're going to add a fast noise. Just click on the fast noise and drag it down to the output of the media in node that will create a merge node. So in the fast noise, we're going to try to get some movement out of the fog that we have on the screen. In order to do that, we can actually change the seeth rate. What that will do is it will change and add some movement to the fog that is already there. So when you go and change it to say 0 0.021 and then once you play it, you can actually see it starting to brighten in different areas. It gives it that look of it's moving. So what we're going to do now is what's not a good enough movement. So it's actually moving the fog a little bit. We want it to do more. So this center, we're going to move it left to right. In this case, we're going to be moving it left. So we're going to type in an expression here. And in the expression, we're going to put in this formula. What that will do is it will give it a time to actually move from left to right. So now when you play this, you can actually see it is actually moving across the screen. Now, all the rest of this is going to be whatever the image is that you have and make it look good. So we're going to change our detail to 0.53 three change our contrast to 0.17 and we're going to change our brightness to a negative 0.29 and we're also going to change our scale to 20 that will break up the fog a little bit so now you see a little bit more of the darker images now you can always do this on top of the picture and get a good feel for what it looks like on the image if you do not want to do that you can always go over and check the fast noise itself and you see that now you have a checker underlay which does not give you the picture so right click go to options and unselect checker underlay this is the fog that you currently have you can see that it will actually move left to right we're choosing to do ours with the image because that is what we actually want to see and adjust our fog to the image itself now with the fast noise selected we're going to go over and we're going to adjust the color of the fog because fog is usually never just pure white so we're going to change the color of the fog and we're going to change it to our hex value of this and once that is it gives us a kind of a bluish green effect for our fog so now if we play that we can actually see that it's moving it kind of looks good so what i see one thing that could be adjusted on this is that it is a little too bright for what i want you can be whatever it is that you want so what i'm going to do is going to go down and we're going to select our brightness and contrast and drag that down into our timeline and once it is connected into the timeline we're going to adjust the brightness so that we can give this more detail so in order to do that we're going to basically change the gain to 0.48 that makes it a little dimmer the lift and the gamma we're going to leave alone the contrast we can bring that down a little bit to 0.19 gives it a little dimmer and now the fog is a little bit better so if we change our brightness down to like a negative 0.17 now the fog is starting to really pop a little bit now if we change the saturation to about 0.89 that will give the fog just a little bit more detail so now when you're looking at this plan it looks pretty good now if you don't want the fog 
fog to be all the way from the top to the bottom so like the fog is just starting to move in we're now going to make it so that the fog is not full screen so if you don't want the fog all the way to the top what we're going to do is we're going to go down and we're going to drag in a rectangle mask take the output of the rectangle mask and connect it to the fast noise with the rectangle mask selected we're going to go up and we're going to start changing some of the parameters so what we're going to do is we're going to change the width of this to make it actually go across the entire screen so the width of two will be good the height of 0.663 will also be good now we can take and drag our mask down and now we can move the upper line to however it is you want we're going to make our mask to the top of the roof line and we're going to leave it there so now that there is this rectangle mask in there this up here has no fog this down here does have fog but there's a hard cutoff so we're going to go to the soft edge and we're going to make this blend in we're going to go 0 0.1091 and that will give us some fog moving very slightly at the top and make it transition really good here so now when you play this back and look at it you can see that it is actually looking fairly good so one thing that you're going to want to do after this is you want to actually copy the fast noise and the rectangle we're going to click off into the empty node tree and we're going to paste them from there we're going to connect the output to the merge and now we have a second set of fog what we're going to do here is we're going to select the fast noise and we're going to go up and we're going to change this this will give us the effect of it having a 3d effect so what we're going to do is we're going to take our time right now the bottom layer is moving pretty fast so we're going to want to change this to something to make it move really slow so 10,000 will actually make it move slower with that we're going to also change the look of this so we're going to change our detail make it more predominant to say 3.2 we're going to change our contrast to about where it is it's fine but we're going to change it to 0.18 we're going to change our brightness down uh let's put it at negative 0.8 so now you can see that it's really starting to pop and look good our scale angle and the seat will all be the same our seat rate will be the same because we're going to basically not control the movement within the fog but we're going to control the fog movement itself with our expression so now when we look at this as a whole you can see that we have now gotten two layers of fog one is moving faster than the other with our rectangle we're going to now go over and change it so that we have a definite change we're going to take our soft edge and we're going to drop that down to point zero three two one we're going to drop our width to the same let's change our height to point two three five and we're going to move this whole thing down and then bring up our little line at the bottom now we got two different masks involved on here so now we have two layers of fog and you can make one layer brighter than the other if you want just go over and select the fast noise and you can actually make it brighter you can change the soft edge to make it blend in a little bit more with the other one so now you have one fog moving faster than the other one so what we're going to do is we're going to move this up a little more and let it be taller now when you're playing this back it looks fairly good and this is your fog effect for any time that you want remember you can change anything in here to make it fit your needs in your background it can be a picture or a video so if you do like this and want to subscribe and like please do if you want to comment i'd love to hear what you have to say thank you much and have a good day